Hi everyone, so we've got some good news actually. It's not so much good news for the meat industry, but it is good news. I don't know if you know, a few months ago when we commenced our Pignorant campaigning, we went to a place called FA Gills. It wasn't so much a vigil as it was a protest. We we're protesting, you know, calling them animal abusers. And I was saying things to the owner, like stuff like this. Is that the boss? He makes the most Are you the owner? Animals, eh? Are you the owner? Shame on you. Shame on you. How much money are you making from abusing animals in here? Shame on you. I also addressed the manager here. This place needs an audit. Yeah. This place needs an audit. This place needs a nice big chunky investigation, doesn't it? Maybe we've already done one. Maybe we've already done one here, eh? About to release the footage tonight. Saying things like this to them, um, I think could get them quite worried because obviously they don't know whether I've investigated them or not. I do tend to investigate large pig slaughterhouses and maybe this one was on my list, but they didn't know whether I'd done it or hadn't done it. And you know, we're, we're all there, all of us activists, creating quite a lot of pressure for them. Now, what is interesting is my mate Plant Geezer, Plant Geezer is uh, one of the activists who actually did the recent uh, slaughterhouse shut down creating awareness with us on top of a gas chamber. He actually called F.A. Gills. Interestingly, go to his Instagram, look, look at this video when he called it F.A. Gills recently. Uh, look, Hello, mate, is that the slaughterhouse? Uh, it is, yes. Hello, mate, have you got any jobs by any chance? What, what, lately, or...? Yeah, in like two weeks ago. You're joking? Why is that, man? Uh, I'm not really sure of all the details, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, uh, we're just not producing... Uh, we're not getting any pigs in at the moment, so... You're not getting any pigs in? So that's very interesting. The slaughterhouse is actually shutting down now. This could just be another coincidence. I mean, we exposed pilgrims in Manchester two weeks after a release of footage. They say they're shutting down right now. They've been operating for years and years and years and years. And then we do a protest out the front, creating pressure. I'm telling them at the front of uh, pilgrims, just wait till this documentary comes out, you know, wait till everyone in Manchester is going to know about this place, right? creating a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure for the company and a big expose, you know. And then two weeks later, they decide to shut down and they cited reasons like uh, problems with the supply chain and, you know, just ongoing problems with the pork industry, yada, yada. But interesting timing, actually. I don't tend to believe, you know, slaughterhouses completely. They might have extenuating circumstances. I mean, the pork industry is a pretty weak industry, but when you apply a bit of pressure on top of everything that they're going through, that can be the thing that topples them. Now here at FA Gills, they've been operating for a long time too, and the locals in the area that I was speaking to on the day um, have been trying to get this place shut down too, because even the meat-eating locals don't like the smell of a slaughterhouse and, you know, go figure. But interestingly, a couple months after we protest there and I'm saying to them, you know, we've got some footage of you, because basically if you go to a slaughterhouse and you say, I bet you're abusing animals in here, 99% of the time you're right. You know, you're just gonna be right. You know, you don't go to slaughterhouses and they're not doing extracurricular animal abuse in there. So maybe they thought I did have an investigation. Maybe they didn't like this publicity actually. Maybe they thought they were gonna get the same publicity that Cranswick got. Maybe they thought they were gonna get the same publicity that Pilgrims got. Who knows, who knows? Maybe they, they just thought this place isn't worth keeping open for other reasons and uh, they decided to shut this one down too. Who knows? All I'm saying is it's an interesting coincidence that Two months after we released this this video and we did our protest here to commence the Pignorant campaign and all of this stuff coming out about pigs and you know all these investigations and protesting and stuff, they've decided to shut their doors too. Very, very interesting coincidence, we could call it. I don't know if it's coincidence. I don't know. So there was an article published on April 8th. It says, Wolverhampton sausage maker lays off staff over pig supply issue. Many of the staff at Black County pork producer and wholesaler have been laid off with no supply of pigs for slaughter given as the reason. Then we'll be like, oh, you know, we were afraid we we're gonna get exposed for animal abuse and the protest has made us shut down, you know. The measure at FA Gill at Parklands, Wolverhampton took effect on Monday and affected staff, including 40 butchers have been told it may, it may remain in place until at least uh, May 6. So the 86 year old former family company, which trades as Gills, is well known for its sausages and, and was sold in April last year. So it's 86 year old. God, 86 years of that kind of animal abuse. So maybe the new owners thought, we don't want this heat. 
maybe they didn't want to be exposed as animal abusers and didn't want that, that kind of pressure. I mean, I am a very high profile activist. I do make these big documentaries, that one's on Prime right now. We are doing very high profile investigations and protests, do have a big following on social media, and maybe they just didn't want that drama. These slaughterhouses are very weak. They're on very low margins, and uh, the pig killers are getting worried. So maybe these investigations, these protests do do something. They don't like to be exposed. You gotta remember these slaughterhouses, these companies are made up of human beings who don't wanna be called animal abusers, animal abusing scum, and don't want us to expose the disgusting, disgusting hell they unleash on animals every day. But when you do, and then you apply the right amount of pressure, to the weaker slaughterhouses, maybe they just start toppling. You know, maybe slaughterhouse workers don't wanna work in there. They don't want that blood on their hands. They don't want that on their conscience. So who knows? Or just a big coincidence, they can't get the supply of pigs in and they shut down. But very, very interesting timing. That's all I'll say about that.